Hey guys, so here's something kind of fun. Uh, I just did a 35 minute live stream that didn't live stream. <laughs> so nobody saw it. <laughs> I was doing work at the request of somebody and um, then I realized after I did these two pieces of art that it wasn't live streaming. And it was weird because I was sitting there looking at the YouTube chat going, really, nobody's chatting with me? Like usually there's one or two, you know, somebody in there who makes a comment and it was just crickets. And I should have known then, but I thought, you know, people are busy. It's Tuesday, it's lunchtime, you know. <laughs> They'll see it in the replay, uh, which there is no replay now because it didn't live stream. So anyway, um, let me just show you what I was working on. I can at least do a quick recap. I had someone ask me, um, because if you follow me on social media, especially Instagram, you've seen my reels where I'm printing and matting and doing a bunch of things, but I speed it up so it can be condensed into something palatable for the general public. And so it's like a minute, you know, of me. And so somebody said, I really love those videos of you making art, but I can't tell what you're doing. So can you do something in real time? Slow it down so I can see it. And I said, yeah, sure. So I did two art pieces and then nobody saw me make them because it didn't live stream but here's what they were or here's what they are it's a piece called snowy sunrise and i'm gonna bring one back over here with me so this version of it um this is a scene that was taken i think it was the day before new year's eve right when we had we had a big snowstorm here um, around Denver, Colorado, for those of you who don't know me and where I am. I'm in the Denver metro area. Uh, so anyway, yeah, it just covered everything in snow and it was beautiful and I caught these little ducks in here and I just thought, gorgeous. And it became so popular with people that I wound up making the color version of this my December piece of art for my 2023 calendar. And then the black and white version, this version is the cover of that calendar, just in a different aspect ratio. So this one, um, actually, let's, let's go to this one first. <clears throat> this one is the full aspect ratio. I left the original um, and then putting it in the mat, it just crops it into an 8 by 10 and then I left the blank spot here at the bottom so I could sign and title it and leave it as part of the presentation. Um, in this one, I cropped this eight by 10 or cropped it into an eight by 10 size. So the signature and the title are hidden by the mat but you're always welcome to take it out of the mat and frame it or do whatever you want. Um, so basically the difference in the two, besides you know being cropped, this one is matte paper. It's a heavyweight cotton poly blend matte paper. So you can see there's no reflection um, and it's a little bit cooler. It's a cool toned paper. So it almost has a little bit of a blue tone to it and I just I love it I love it love it love it um, so it turned out really great and that's what I had been wanting to do is to print this in a matte version to see what it looks like because the difference between a glossy photo and a matte photo can be night and day you know the inks just settle in a different way and the paper presents the colors in a different way so anyway that's that one this one is an ultra premium luster semi-gloss paper. You can see that just a little gloss, you know, not a ton. It's not gonna be too reflective, but it does give, you know, that semi-gloss photo look and just a little pebbly texture. It's a really, really beautiful paper. And I like how it turned out this way too. Um, I, I really like I don't usually do this. I don't usually have my signature showing. I've seen people mat like that before where they leave the blank spot at the bottom of the, of the mat so you can see. Um, and I usually don't, but I like this. I do like this. It, it presents really nicely as, you know, the title and the artist. I think it's pretty cool. So there you go.
The same photo, two different mediums, two different mats, and two totally different looks. And I'm sorry you didn't get to see me make them live, but I'll be back on a different day and we'll make some more art then. <laughs> and by the way, you can buy matted prints in my store if you want to. These specifically that I print at home and I give them a shot, actually two shots of this desert varnish. This stuff is amazing. If you print photos, um, no matter what printer you use, I use the Epson EcoTank. Oh, it's amazing. I love, love, love this printer I have. Um, but even if you use, you know, just your standard regular old printer, you can still hit your pictures with a shot of this. Uh, you do it, you do it one way, let it dry. Then you do it the other way, about six inches away, let it dry. And then about an hour later, um, your prints are like locked in with this varnish and it's beautiful. It doubles the life of your photos. Um, so anyway, yeah, I print stuff here at home, but if you get things through my store, jenwild.com, J-E-N, wild with an E.com, um, those photos are all printed on archival quality paper with archival inks. They last for 99 years or more. They will outlive all of us. So yeah, so that's, um, that's my day in a nutshell. So sorry the live stream didn't work out. I'm so bummed. But anyway, you got a little taste of what I'm working on and I'll do it again right next time. <laughs> I'll see you then.